Hey guys, in this video I'm going to paint the sled. Uh, what you want to do is just take some masking tape. Place it around the border of the circles. And just slowly place it all the way around. And if there's uh, any exposed lines, you can just take small pieces of tape and go back over it. This should be like that. And to save on masking tape, we can just put a piece of paper right here to cover it up. So, just like that. And you want to do that for the inner one and the, the third ring out. Because these two, the second and the last is going to be red. And then the blue in the middle. Okay, for the inner side of the ring, what you want to do is just cut the uh, masking tape into strips and just line it all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and start with the red and while that dries I'm going to cut the star for the middle. Okay, so here's the first coat. Uh, there's a few spots I'll, I'll have to go over with the red. Um, just mainly in this part right here. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. Uh, the next step, uh, once it dries, is to cut out the star and then trace it on the sled. Okay, here's the printout for the star. There's a link for it in the description below. Uh, mine wasn't exactly to size, so I had to make one just a little bit bigger. And uh, whenever you cut one, go ahead and make one that's just a little bit smaller. Uh, the bigger one is for the actual aluminum sheet. The smaller one is for whenever I go to paint. Once you have the cutout, just take your aluminum sheet. Uh, I bought this at Home Depot. It's just a 12 by 12 regular mill finish aluminum sheet. And what you want to do is, let's see, put it on one side, take some clear tape, and just tape it down like so. Okay, so now that I have that, I'll just go ahead and take the scissors and cut around it. Okay, and uh, here's the star. 
Uh, the next step is to detail it uh, with the lines. Um, there's another trick that you can do also, uh, just something on the side, is to make your star look like this. And uh, I did that just with the same scotch bright that I used for the sled. And I placed it in the middle and did a straight circular motion on it. And uh, once I attach this, it'll look like the middle of the star is right in the middle of the shield. Uh, that'll be the focal point. And it looks a little bit better than just this plain aluminum with some scratches on it. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is mark the end of the star points uh, about half of an inch in, just like that. And to do that, I just take the ruler and I, I line it up with the point of the star and the point of the star where it comes in together. Now line it up, and I'll mark it half an inch. Okay, and once you have all those points, you just want to take the roller. And you want to make the line just all the way across. And I'm just using a pencil. Okay, and now I have a pentagram within the star. And then the next step is to add the inner uh, five lines. That'll meet right in the middle. And to do that, I'll just line up the point of the star with the point where the two triangles meet. Okay, now I have all the lines drawn out. There's just some spots I'll have to erase. I just take a wet paper towel. Just very carefully, I'll erase the lines. What I'm going to use to etch the lines in is just a box knife and then I'm going to place the ruler right beside it and take it very very slowly and carefully and mark out all the pencil lines. Okay, and here's the finished product. Came out pretty good. Uh, I would recommend doing the five inner lines first, uh, just so you know exactly where the middle is. And whenever you draw the outer uh, star, you can line it up right on the line. And uh, as you can see on, I think it's this one, it didn't line up well since I drew the lines and met them. Uh, I should have gone a little bit further with this line and a little bit shorter with this line just so it meets right in the middle. Um, yeah, just do the inner five lines, then do the outer lines. And uh, make sure you don't use an eraser to erase the pencil line because the 
um, the eraser will mess up the aluminum. It's kind of hard to wipe away. It'll leave this weird stain on it. So just use a paper towel with water and it should come out just like this. Okay, the paint has dried. Uh, there's some spots that are messed up, like in this corner here. Kind of looks like spilled blood. Uh, it's just the buildup of the paint on the uh, can and just spilled it. Uh, I'm not going to go over it or anything because it's just going to be too much of a hassle. So I'm going to go ahead and spray on the blue paint. And uh, I'll leave this outer lining tape on there for now uh, just so it's covered. And uh, I'll just peel off the center tape. Okay, and here's the paper star from earlier, the smaller one. I cut some of the ends off. Um, as you can see, all this part will be blue, so whenever I place the aluminum star on top, uh, it should be well covered. Everything should be painted. And I just want to place this star onto the shield and tape just barely past the uh, edges of the paper. And I also marked a small spot right here uh, just to represent the top side of the shield so the star will look upright whenever I'm holding it. Okay, I just taped off the rest of the shield and now to apply the blue paint. Okay, the paint's all dry now, so I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the tape and paper. The next step after this is to apply the gloss and then attach the star. Okay, uh, the next step is to use the piece of scotch bright and go back over the exposed metal. I, I'm going to try to scrub out all the oxidized rust on this side and this side. Uh, once that's complete, I can put the first layer of gloss on it. Okay, I'm going to apply the first layer of the gloss coat. Um, the reason why I'm in this shed is just to keep the wind from picking up uh, dust and debris and getting it stuck to the, uh, to the gloss and also to keep uh, the temperature kind of cooler because uh, it's kind of hot today and humid. Okay, here's the shield with the gloss coat. 
I uh, came out a little a little bit off in some spots um, the temperature and the humidity outside it caused it to mess up just a little bit but nothing too severe I'm not sure how well the camera can pick this up but as you can see it's not as glossy in some spots kinda has a orange peel look to it uh, if I was in the correct environment with the right equipment, it could have looked a lot better. Um, so just watch uh, what the temperature is like outside if it's humid. Um, you really want just a dry uh, day, about 75 degrees outside for a really good paint. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this and attach the star in the middle. And to do that, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball. And apply it to the bare metal just to clean it up really good so the adhesive will stick to it. And you also want to do this with the star piece. You just want to Take some alcohol on it, clean it off. Uh, in my previous videos, um, I used a JB weld to attach the star. Um, in this one, I'm going to do it just a little bit different. And I'm going to use a double sided tape, uh, just double sided mounting tape. Um, just because the JB weld is mainly for uh, steel on steel and since the star is just a aluminum sheet uh, it won't stick all that well to it. It may fall off in the future. Uh, just to avoid that, uh, that's the reason why I'm using the uh, double sided tape. Uh, whenever you cut the tape, make sure you have a little bit of a uh, an excess on the uh, top of the peel uh, just so it can stick out of the star and you can have something to uh, peel by so just like this I have an extra tab on the piece then I'll cut a strip and just place it right about there you want to push it down make sure it's nice and tight on on the shield and I'll cut about two more strips You want to make sure the tape is completely flat so it doesn't push back out on the uh, star. Okay, and then I'll just place the star in a spot that I would like it. Make sure it covers in all the spots. There's no exposed metal underneath. So I think I, I'll go with that right there. Start with the small piece. Okay, and you just want to push down on it like that. And make sure you curve the uh, ends of the star uh, before you attach it, just so it conforms to the shape just a little bit better. Now, peel the rest of the tape. nice and easy and there we go
looks pretty centered. And as you can see, the glare kind of focuses just about on the middle of the star. Okay, so here's the finished product. Uh, it came out pretty good. Just gotta wash it down just a little bit with all my fingerprints on it. The paint's okay on this one. Um, like I said before, if I was in a better environment, uh, the paint would have looked a lot better. Um, whenever I painted the uh, blue on, I went over the red just a little bit to give it that dark line. Kind of divide the blue from the red. Give it a kind of a, a step from one color to the other. Um, I gloss the back side to keep it from oxidizing. And I just install the straps. Alright, well that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.